Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com asking, what part of this graph isn't clear? The great American physicist Dr. Richard Feynman said, it doesn't matter how beautiful your theory is, it doesn't matter how smart you are, if it doesn't agree with the experiment, it's wrong. This is today's graph of daily new confirmed COVID-19 deaths per million people. Most of Europe has had mask rules in place for months, yet deaths are increasing and many of them are locking down once again. They've demonstrated unequivocally that masks don't work in the short term and lockdowns don't work in the long term. All that lockdowns do is delay the inevitable spread of the virus through the community. Meanwhile, Sweden, which had no lockdowns and no masks, is headed the other direction, precisely because they didn't lock down and they didn't use masks. The data shows unequivocally that lockdowns and masks are a bad idea, and even the World Health Organization says that lockdowns should only be used in a dire emergency. Professor Gupta, I want to say it again. Uh, we in the World Health Organization do not advocate lockdowns as a primary means of control of this virus. The only time we believe a lockdown is justified is to buy you time to reorganize, regroup, rebalance your resources, protect your health workers who are exhausted. But by and large, we'd rather not do it. Just look at what's happened to the tourism industry, for example, in the Caribbean or in the Pacific, because people aren't taking their holidays. Look what's happened to smallholder farmers all over the world because their markets have got dented. Look what's happening to poverty levels. It seems that we may well have a doubling of world poverty by next year. We may well have at least a doubling of child malnutrition because children are not getting meals at school and their parents in poor families are not able to afford it. This is a terrible, ghastly global uh, catastrophe, actually. And so we really do appeal to all world leaders, stop using lockdown as your primary control method, develop better systems for doing it, work together and learn from each other. Mm. But remember, lockdowns just have one consequence that you must never, ever uh, belittle, and that is making poor people an awful lot poorer. And apparently that is the goal of the government of Wales because they're ignoring the World Health Organization and locking down hard once again. Over the weekend, the cabinet of the Welsh government met to continue our discussions about a time-limited fire break. A short, sharp shock to turn back the clock, slow down the virus and give us more time. We met again this morning and we have now reached the difficult decision to introduce a two-week fire break starting at 6pm on Friday this week. Wales is about to lock down hard again and it's been seven months since their first two-week fire break. There aren't very many governments which could be accused of being smart, but if their approach doesn't agree with the experiment, it's wrong. Governments love to claim that they're listening to the science when in fact they're doing the exact opposite. Junk science is everywhere and Toto and Curie have been pulling back the curtain on it for a very long time. You can visit them on the web at realclimatescience.com.